Hello friends, welcome to this new session and in this session we are going to discuss uh, on the record flag. If you remember, we have uh, used a record flag several times because this helps for tracking the changes and understand the history of the deployment. So what I am telling that we are using the record flag. Okay. And how we are going to use that record flag? We use kubectl set image means this is the previous way which we are doing. Suppose we are just changing the image okay, of the deployment. deploy one suppose uh, we are using the engine engine x engine x and now we are this is the container name and we are using now engine x uh, with tag 1.16.0 just for the example and after that we are passing the record flag to dash okay so this was helpful for tracking the changes and understand the history of the deployment but this is not deprecated okay so the question is if the record flag has been uh, deprecated and will be removed in the future then what is the easy alternative for that to record changes so first we need to understand what is the deprecations means the deprecations in the kubernetes means that uh, this flag is no longer recommended for use and may be removed in the future version of the kubernetes so better to not use it so then what is the alternative how we we are going to remove this record with the, some other ways so we can use the annotate to manage the history some way in the same way okay so uh, i am going to lab to demonstrate that how we are going to use the annotate uh, in the and it will keep the history and the tracking changes and, and to understand the history of the deployment in the same way that the record flag uh, is used okay so i have this uh, environment here if you see here we have the uh, EK, eks client and we have two nodes here okay so if i go and and find uh, currently uh, how many pods we have kubectl get pod you can find that we don't have any pod here okay so what we are going to do we are going to create a simple deployment file using some nginx uh, and with the replica of one so let's write the command here uh, i am doing in the imperative way not in the declarative way okay so make it fast kubectl uh, create deployment okay and uh, the name of the deployment is nginx the image that we are using is of the nginx okay and the tag is 1.16.0 with replica of one only because we don't require uh, more replicas okay so it will create the deployment let's verify it and get deployment so you have one deployment kubectl get pod one pod is running because uh, the deployment already mentioned that one out of one means we have one replica and one pod is running that is perfectly fine now check the history kubectl uh, rollout history deployment and the name of the deployment is engine x engine x okay so you can find that the current version is one and the change cause is not uh, none because we didn't uh, define any change codes yet so now uh, there is some requirement that we have to update the image so okay so now we are going to set uh, the image uh, with the latest one okay so kubectl set image deployment 
and the name of the deployment nginx okay and the container name is also nginx by default you take the name of the image and the latest okay okay now we need to what happened latest nginx set image kubectl set image deployment nginx yeah now it's fine okay so we need to annotate the deployment now and create the history okay so what we are going to do in the same way we did for the record previously we are doing for the record similar way we used kubectl uh, annotate deployment okay nginx i will i will guide you all the commands that we are using here one by one let me write it down first nginx kubernetes burn kubernetes dot io change calls and some message here you can manage accordingly let me write as per my requirement version change to what we are doing version change uh, to 1.16 this is uh, my previous image uh, tag to latest okay and then we are uh, using one flag override is equal to true okay so this is annotated so let me describe one by one uh, what i did here so uh, this cube ctl this is the cube ctl you already know that the cube ctl is the command line tool for interacting with the kubernetes cluster you already aware about it annotate so this is a sub command is used to annotate Kubernetes resources with additional metadata. We are providing additional meta metadata to keep the records. Annotations are uh, arbitrary key value pairs used to attach non-identifying metadata to objects. This can be used by tools library to store and retrieve arbitrary metadata about the resources. Okay, then we are using the deployment nginx. Uh, this uh, specifies the Kubernetes deployment name, which you know that the Nginx, on which the annotations um, will be added or updated. Okay. Then we are providing the Kubernetes.io change cause, and here we are providing the version, uh, the message. So this is the annotations being added or updated. Okay. So um, here is you find the key value. So Kubernetes.io slash change is the key and the value is the message that we provided that we are changing the image from 1.16.0 to latest. So this annotations is often used to record the reason for the changes made to the resources. So in this case, it suggests that the deployments version is being updated from 1.16.0 to the latest version and this annotations is used to document that changes okay and now the last flag is override is equal to true this one okay so this flag indicates that if the annotations already exist okay its value should be overwritten with the new value provided if the flag is set to false or omitted you can say the attempting to add the annotations that already exist would result in an error Okay, so now we need to check that the his, with the history that this annotation is marked or not. So again, we are going to write the similar command. Roll out history deployment nginx. So you can find that uh, for the second versions, we have the informations for the change cause. This is the flag we added already. Okay, so version change to 1.16.0 to latest. So in this way, previously we are using uh, the flag of record. You can record flag we are using to uh, keep the track changes of and our understanding of the history of the deployment. Now we have to use the annotate. 
okay so better to use uh, start using the annotate and um, uh, this will, uh, will will be deprecated means it will be removed from the kubernetes that uh, because kubernetes now not supporting this record flag so hope you like this video if you like my effort in explaining all these things in detail please uh, subscribe to my channel if you didn't subscribe it yet and share it uh, with your friends in your community in your groups just to spread informations okay have a nice day thank you